Hello, I'm Mikhail with Autonomy, the makers of self-flying security drones. Meet Alpha, our robot. She patrols outside property and prevents crime. Uh, the experts agree that the key to future physical security is prevention. The audience will also probably agree that a big part of the future is robotics. And uh, uh, so uh, it comes to no surprise that my, uh, my background is uh, very well, uh, uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, my father was a researcher in robotics at Kiev uh, Institute of Technology, the MIT of, of Ukraine. He uh, worked at a top secret laboratory uh, developing telemechanics. 1960s speak for robotics. We weren't able to immigrate to the US until late 90s, when long after the Iron Curtain got lifted. So imagine my surprise and pleasure to meet uh, Sid, who has the same passion and background. We met in the beginning of our PhD studies at Carnegie Mellon Robotics Institute. Uh, we moved on to do our postdocs for, at uh, Harvard and Penn, respectively. I also worked at JPL, uh, JPL Polish Laboratory uh, in, uh, for two years. Uh, what, uh, what was really, really, and so what really unites us is a passion for bringing this technology to marketplace. Security service market is a $140 billion opportunity. Much of it is dominated by payroll, and it uh, may not be the most glamorous profession, but it is one of the pillars of the civil society. In addition to that, um, the, uh, let's see, uh, the existing solutions don't quite work because of uh, passive sensors such as surveillance cameras are not alone able to stop intruder from crossing the line. Hiring human guards, however, is extremely expensive yet they make mistakes. Uh, our uh, autonomy drone actively confronts a suspected intruder by sounding loudspeakers and shining bright lights. We re regularly signed a, pilot, a paying pilot customer within only two weeks of reaching out. Delta One is a construction company on Treasure Island. We also signed letters of intent totaling over a million dollars with commercial alarm companies operating all over North America. Nick Hernande is the CEO of Delta One. The reason he's so passionate about the product is that it really pains him to come in the morning to the job site and notice that stuff was turned out, turned, and then the crews that come in the next morning have to be turned back, causing tremendous delays and cost overruns. Our business model is straightforward. It costs us about 8500 to build a drone, Maintenance right now is about 400 uh, per month and is going to go down. And uh, revenue is uh, $5,000 installation fee as well as a lease of 2,000 per month, which is less than one-tenth of hiring a single guard post, namely you know, three shifts as well as holidays and weekends. So we are looking at a healthy gross margin of 70% for a contract of three years. By just looking at uh, these three verticals in the market, the energy infrastructure, as well as warehousing and construction, we, uh, hand, we come up with over 150,000 sites that we can protect. By placing just one of our drones at each of these sites, we are looking at almost $4 billion opportunity for the technology we already built. So to summarize, we make self-flying security drones. We have a signed pilot customer, over a million dollar in LOIs, and we have the right team to build a future of physical security. Thank you. All right. I'm sure everyone's feeling really safe. Judges, any questions? Can you talk to us a bit about uh, the sensors that are activated? How do you sensor motion detection? How does that work? Certainly. Uh, we are now have visual, visible light cameras, as well as a 3,000 lumen floodlight, very bright. Uh, by customer request, we are also adding a thermal camera. It is able to detect a, a, an activity as far as 1,000 feet out. It's very bad for, uh, for air condition, but it's great for detection. As soon as we have the heat signature that is similar to a human, we pause the patrol. The drones automatically goes to that location at about 80 foot range, turns on the floodlight, and then visible camera can provide us with very accurate 
uh, reading of the situation. What's, what's the range and loiter time for the drone today? Sure, like most drones out there of the, of the helicopter type, motor copter type, it flies for about 15 minutes and charges about 45 minutes. Uh, it's perfect for once an hour patrol. Uh, we recommend a team of four, and this way we have one ready to go at any time. Can you talk um, a little bit about what the monitoring is needed from somebody back at base? Or do you expect this thing to be totally self-monitoring and just shine a light and like crash down on somebody if they're doing something wrong? <laughs> oh, so uh, we, we, right now we have a mobile app that a, that a customer can uh, watch what the drone sees. Uh, it, it fixed perfectly uh, some of the deployments at large enterprises where they have two kinds of guards. You have a front gate guard as well as a perimeter guard. So the front gate guard can actually help out the perimeter guard in a big way. And by simply watching what the drone sees, and because the drone has unique ability to come up close, and uh, in any sensor does better with closer range, then we are able to get much better analytics and, f and false alarm uh, verification than most fi that fixed cameras. In this way, we will basically, the only alarms that uh, you know, the, the guard will get in the booth will, will already verify it. So much, much uh, fewer of them, better quality this way. All right, thank you, Autonomy. Sure, thank you. Good job.